or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanna and I am back with another video. Today's video is going to be on some of the latest drops from Bath & Body Works. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video, you guys. First, we'll start off with the fragrance that I have on right now and that is Among the Clouds. The notes in this one are Wild Berry Skies and Whipped Vanilla Woods. The packaging is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's girly. I could not remember like why this was so so familiar to me but I saw that someone wrote in the reviews that it was giving them the Lisa Frank vibes I don't know if they still make stuff but I'll post some like pictures here of some examples it's very nostalgic it's very girly it's cute it's giving me unicorn vibes and I love it now let's get into the fragrance the fragrance to me is still just hmm, it's still just okay now I like the lotion a lot there is a citrusy note to this it says there's berries in here but i get citrus from this i don't know where the citrus is coming from it's giving me like tangerine vibes or something then i do get the vanilla but the vanilla is quite light especially in the mist the mist is more fruity than anything it's very girly but very fruity the lotion you smell the vanilla a little bit more strongly so that i think that's why i like it so it gives me a berry candy vibe but with a bit of vanilla there's still not a strong level of vanilla in this but i get a bit of it so i think i like the lotion a lot more than i like the body spray it's cute it's girly it's quite juvenile to be honest i don't think that it was such an amazing scent for it to be like the face of that particular drop but I mean it's a cool scent for what it was I don't feel like there should be like a perfume and all that but the lotion I like a lot I may even get another one of the lotions to be honest this kind of gives me the vibes of like champagne toast or something it's not amazing it's not amazing the body mist is not amazing to me the lotion I like a lot and I feel like this lotion would go with a lot of things a lot of other fragrances so the lotion is my girl the body mist it's kind of like a million other things that Bath & Body Works has probably already done. Next, let's talk about another one that I know that is, I think, a crowd favorite. And that is Pastel Skies. Look, I started getting travel sprays, especially for the fragrances that I know I just will probably end up taking back. Um, which I will be taking this one back. This is a crowd favorite, but it's not a favorite of mine. I feel like this one, now I know most people like this in their fragrances. But for me this is a bit strong the notes in this one are soft cloud berries pink sponge sugar and coconut musk i have to say i don't like it but i don't like it <laughs> it doesn't do anything for me it's a very deep berry type of scent i think that is overly musky to me and i just don't like that so it's a berry scent it's strong it's got that deep level of musk it's a more mature berry so if you're into that type of thing you'll probably love this one i know a lot of people do love this fragrance I don't yeah this is not my type of fragrance I'll probably keep the lotion but I will take the spray back I don't really care for it that much I don't even care for the lotion that much but I feel like it will match well with some other um, body sprays and stuff so I'm gonna keep it and I feel like it would be great to sleep in so I will keep the lotion but the body mist I'm going to take back I don't really care for it it's a little bit too deep and a little bit too musky for me for my berry scents I think that I prefer my berry scents to be a bit brighter but I think that a lot of people who like a deep berry fragrance and who also like a strong fragrance they want their fragrance to last and they want people to be able to smell their fragrance they want it to project you probably like this fragrance this is what I know a lot of people have been missing from Bath and Body Works lately so you guys might like this fragrance I however don't so I'll be taking it back but let's move on okay so next we'll move into a fragrance that is very controversial <laughs> and that is indigo dream the first time that i smelled this fragrance in bath and body works i was like what where's where's the smell like what what are you got what are you guys doing where's the fragrance i don't smell it keep in mind that it, while you're in, inside of bath and body works there's a lot of other fragrances going on um i feel like this is a fragrance that cannot really show its potential when it's being surrounded by a lot of other fragrances but something i don't know what it is something kept telling me to get this fragrance and so i bought it even though when i was in the store i didn't smell nothing <laughs> but this fragrance was calling my name so i got it and i actually sprayed it on my arm last night and i was like i knew i knew that me and you would be cool together now a lot 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 of people say that this fragrance has no smell and I thought the same thing while I was in the store. But I really like this fragrance. And it is a very, this is a very, very light fragrance. It's a skin scent. 
but it makes you smell like you're wearing perfume but not that much it's perfect for chilling around the house running errands netflix and chill it's that type of fragrance it's very very light people across the room are not going to smell you people probably like two steps away are not going to smell you it's very very intimate but i like it a lot it feels very carefree and i like that it feels like you're putting your hair up in a bun and you're just chilling in your white t-shirt and jeans the notes in this are bergamot water glowing amber and warm musk and you get that bergamot water i do and you also get the musk from this and you also get the amber it's very light the amber is what brings it the perfuminess of it if this is all you're wearing with like a non-scented lotion it's perfect for that it's perfect for getting straight out of the shower putting on a non-scented lotion and then putting this on top it's that type of fragrance and it lasts on me i put it i sprayed it on my arm last night and then i came back i woke up because i worked last night i came back to it i smelled it and i was like it's still there that's quite interesting it is a very very light scent and a lot of people probably won't be able to smell it uh, a lot of people probably won't like it because it does not project at all and i know y'all mad at bath and body works but I love this fragrance <laughs> I feel like I'm so happy with Bath and Body Works for this fragrance because I feel like I was missing something like this in my in my um, fragrance collection I didn't have anything that was super duper light like this I think it'll be great for a hot day when you're just like relaxing around the house or if you're just going to do something really simple it's a fragrance that's just for you and I like that. I'm just picking up everything randomly. Um, we have a small bottle of strawberry pound cake. This is a travel size. And I really, I have a bottle of strawberry pound cake, but I wanted some more. So I picked this up. Because <laughs> I like strawberry pound cake. I think it's really sexy. It's very sensual. It's very creamy. And I wanted some more of it. So I went ahead and got this. It's something that I know a lot of people already smell. It smells like a strawberry shortcake, if you're interested in knowing it smells exactly like a strawberry shortcake it smells so edible be careful because if you're hungry it's gonna make you hungrier because you're smelling a cake but it smells really good it's very sensual very sexy it's great for an intimate date and if you know what i mean if you're trying to smell edible strawberry pound cake so next i got a fragrance that um you guys will probably be surprised to know that this is like one of my favorites from the latest collections this is fresh coconut and cotton you guys i was so happy with it that i decided to go back and get a backup of the lotion because i feel like if you like any type of fresh coconut scents if you're wearing fresh coconut scents you need these to blend with them because it's like first of all perfect but this is a nice scent i'm not usually a fan of fresh coconut scents or fresh scents in general and when i say fresh i don't mean like fresh and clean i'm cool with fresh and clean this is more so salty air fresh <laughs> So honestly, it bothers me a little bit, but I do like to smell like this. It's weird. Like it bothers me, but I know that this is a fragrance that I like a lot. And I feel like I like people to smell me smelling like this. Like it's just a vibe. If you like Alien Goddess, if you like um, Beach Walk, you will love this fragrance. It's very similar to those two. I actually paired mine with Alien Goddess and it was definitely a vibe. It was so, so sexy. The notes in this one are Coconut, Coastal Breeze, and Beachside Cotton. And this is basically what it smells like. You get the cotton, you get the freshness, you get that beach water, you get the coconut. It's super sexy, super luxurious to me, and I love it so much. For the days when I want to wear a fresh coconut, I have two bottles of lotion to go along with them because i'm not a huge fan of fresh scents but when i get in that mood i will wear them and i feel like these are perfect to pair with your fresh coconut fragrances or to wear alone because they definitely project and they're long lasting it's very sexy it is very luxurious and i love to smell like that sometimes even though fresh scents, this type of fresh scent does bother my stomach it makes me a bit queasy <laughs> but i feel like it's worth it you guys like I stomach the, the queasiness because I love smelling like this a lot. But let's go ahead and move on, you guys. I got You're the One Glotion. Some You're the One Glotion Body Butter. And I'm so excited about this purchase. If you guys watch my channel, you know I love You're the One. I think it's a very sexy fragrance. It does not smell like a body mist. It is like in a class of its own. It is beautiful. It smells like a designer perfume. It's a rose scent it has notes of rose strawberry and there's some some type of woody note in there this scent is so sexy and i love glotion i know a lot of people don't like the glotions but i love glotions like i like to shine y'all and i feel like this will be so great for like date night wearing a sexy 
super sexy rose fragrance that glitters i plan on pairing this with my rose perfumes because now i don't know if you guys can see the shine but it's super glittery that's why a lot of people don't like lotions because like the glitter is like it gets everywhere i don't know if you guys can see it but it will get everywhere it'll be all over your clothes all over your sheets and everything so a lot of people don't like lotions but i'm like good don't like the lotions because guess what there's more for me <laughs> and i love lotions so much and i've been uh, wanting to get another one but i hadn't found another one that i was really really feeling but i love this one i love this i don't like to sit around and put on body butter because it takes too long i'm super tall i'm five foot nine i don't have time to put body butter on all day i prefer to put on a cream or a lotion but when it shines like this like how can it be helped i feel like i gotta do the other arm now you guys and it smells like you're the one but it's not as strong as i feel like the normal lotion is i gave away my you're the one lotion because i felt like it was way too strong for me and i felt like when you paired it with the you're the one spray it was just like way too much so this is not as strong to me and then it has a glitter so i'm so happy with this this is like one of my favorite purchases i'm very very happy about this so if you're into lotions or body butters remember the glitter gets everywhere and it is gold specs so i'm letting y'all know before beforehand if you decide to get this one that it is very glittery but oh god i think it's super sexy for a date night and i cannot wait if i go out this weekend me and you're the one lotion will be on and popping <laughs> but let's go ahead and move on you guys waikiki beach coconut i know the packaging looks different but most of these i already had in my collection honestly now i will post the picture of the latest drop of waikiki beach coconut when i say the packaging is gorgeous it looks like lemonade it is so gorgeous i love the packaging i cannot deny it i love their new packaging but yeah this is what we have already the notes in this are tropical white coconut salt water breezes and sun bleached woods now i don't know if it's because the bottle is green but i feel like this fragrance has a note of lime to it it smells like a lime coconut drink it is so sexy and i love it a lot i like to wear this fragrance during the spring and summer it is just very very sexy i pair this with a lotion and it projects it lasts it smells like bougie <laughs> when you wear this you smell bougie um i love this fragrance but let's go ahead and move on you guys so next we have bahamas passion fruit and banana flower and the notes in this are passion fruit pineapple leaves and banana flower this one smells like pineapples and bananas and it also has like that passion fruit note it's juicy it's sweet it's fruity it's perfect for the spring and summer so if you like a really fruity scent that's like not too juvenile this has a banana in it and i feel like it makes it a little bit more a little bit more grown up a little bit more sexy so i really really like this fragrance pineapples and banana mixed together like as far as smells go <laughs> it's awesome i love the way these two smell together and i love pineapple fragrances i probably have like too many pineapple fragrances at it as it is but i really like this a lot it's pineapple and it's banana it's fruity you smell like a little smoothie you honestly smell like a little smoothie with this on it's very tropical so while we're talking about pineapples i'll show you my next fragrance which is pink pineapple sunrise and this one has notes of sweet pink pineapple palm sugar and sun drenched nectar now i love my pineapple fragrances but honestly my pineapple lotions my pineapple body creams they're so good like i love the body cream that goes along with this oh this one here is like straight up pineapple it smells closer to the pineapple that's coming out of the can with all the juices so if you really like the way a straight up pineapple out of the can smells you will like this one it's a bit tangy it smells like some candy and it's juicy it smells really really good oh it is so good it smells like a gummy worm or something <laughs> like a sour gummy worm it is so good and i like it next we have coconut pineapple coconut pineapple is another one of my favorites <laughs> again it's another pineapple fragrance but listen what they tell you about them diced pineapples and then you add my favorite note on top of it coconut and you think i wasn't about to get this all right you guys so my camera died i have no idea of where i left off at but i know i left off on coconut pineapple I don't know where I left off at. But yeah, I love coconut. I love pineapple. I think that um, they're both beautiful fragrances. Coconut is one of my favorite notes. Pineapple, 
I love. So I had to get the coconut and the pineapple together. And honestly, when I smell this fragrance, I feel like it smells kind of like a soda, a float or something. It smells like a flat soda. If we had like a coconut pineapple soda, but it's like a flat version of it. And it's it's good <laughs> it's perfect for the spring and summer this one i kind of want to spray everywhere because it's been so long since i smelled it last it's been oh so long it's coconut it's pineapple it's not too tangy it's not too fruity but oh god it's beautiful this makes me want to wear as little clothes as possible and the notes in here are shaved coconut fresh pineapple and sugar cane you get the coconut, you get the pineapple, and you get the sugar, which the sugar helps the pineapple not to be so tangy in this fragrance. And I feel like that's what really makes this fragrance work. To me, it's just another very upscale type of scent. Like, it's just a body mist, but this is like a baddie everyday type of scent for the spring and summer, and I love it so much. But let's move on to the next scent, you guys. So the next fragrance that I have to show you guys is Golden Mango Lagoon and this is another one that I got in the travel size because I knew I probably wasn't going to want to keep it. I'm not really the biggest fan of fruity scents for real for real unless there's something extremely special about it. I don't know what the notes in these small scents are because they don't have the notes on the bottle but I'm definitely assuming that there's mango in this fragrance right? Let's go ahead and try this one out. Oh wait a minute. That's special. You know what? I was not expecting to like that. But that is very good. It's very juicy. This would definitely be something nice to wear around the house or like just running errands or something like that. I like this. This is a very pretty fruity scent. I really like this. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to like this one, but I do. I like it a lot. I thought it would be like something really like citrusy and generic but it's not the mango in here is so beautiful so juicy oh my gosh and it doesn't smell juvenile at all it smells like a grown woman could definitely pull this off and to just like hang out around the house for netflix and chill type of time or just like i said for running errands if you're you know you're just like in your t-shirt and jeans or whatever this is a pretty scent i like it that's nice Ooh, this is very nice and tropical and I love it. Now I say I would wear it just like for errands and around the house, but if I was like on a vacation, like at the beach or something, and I had like a cute little dress on or something, and I think that this would be a great daytime scent. It smells really good. I like this one. Okay, so next we have Watermelon Mojito. This is so good to me. Now, I didn't expect much from this fragrance. I actually just picked up the travel size when I first went in the store. I didn't smell anything. I just picked up some of the travel sizes. That's why I didn't know what the last one smelled like. But then I wore this fragrance and I was like, yeah, I really like this one. This is your grown up watermelon fragrance. The notes in this one are watermelon soda, pink rum, and cane sugar. And it doesn't even have like a minty note on the back or anything. But this is like a green watermelon fragrance and it's so trying to find some good land to put it on oh my god it's so pretty like there was a watermelon fragrance that came out last year i can't remember the name of it but it was it smelled really candy like this one kind of smells like candy but there's also a, a green element to this one as well which makes it a bit more mature this is your grown-up watermelon and it's so sexy i really like this really like this i wasn't even expecting anything from this fragrance when i picked up the travel size but i loved it so much i had to get the um full size bottle because to me this is a beautiful scent i love it <sighs> it does not it's, it has notes of watermelon soda but it doesn't smell like soda at all i could get rum and maybe rum is what i'm considering to be a green note it does smell like a rum and there's a bit of sugar which gives it a little bit of candy likeness but it's not as candy like as that other watermelon fragrance from last year this is your grown up fruity fragrance and i love it like let me just <laughs> you know Ooh, i am drenching myself in fragrances today i promise you all i probably smell a hot mess with all these fragrances on <laughs> but oh my god i love this mm, i just want this i want this one like all in my hair and everything 
this is your grown up fruity watermelon fragrance and it is so good it's so sexy i feel like this is great for like if you're doing like a day date or something it's great for all occasions it's non-offensive it's not too strong it's not too sweet it's just really pretty and i love it i already did um, a layering combination with this one it is in one of my shorts i wore it with taka simone which is also a green watermelon fragrance and it was just a popping combination you guys i loved it and i love this oh that smells so good y'all i promise y'all i love this one i think that i don't know what's my favorite out of the collection because this collection has so many fragrances that i already had and already loved but this is definitely one that is going on my love list and i'm so happy that i found it it just makes me happy and it's perfect for the spring and summer this collection was banging i love this tropical collection there's nothing bad that you can say about any of the fragrances the only fragrance that i don't have is the new one that they have i think it's called like jungle rain or something but it's only available online and i'm not ready to pay shipping but yeah watermelon mojito it's a yes i love it Oh, I love it. All right, you guys. So the last fragrance that I have to show you all is Coco Paradise. And I did smell this one in the store because I knew it was going to be like the most popular one. I've already seen some people talking about it and most people love it. Now this one, I feel like it might be a little bit overrated in all honesty. I don't remember what's in here. Of course, there's coconut. There's some type of salted something or another in here. I don't remember what the notes are in here, but I'll put them up on the screen. Let's see okay so this is like a more mature coconut and to me this smells very similar to at the beach it's not amazing which is why i did not get a full bottle of it i was like hmm very beautiful bottle right but it's not amazing to me now the little perfume sprays were on sale for eight dollars so i was like why not pick one up because you never know i might i might like fall in love with this scent but i do already like at the beach and i feel like they are so similar to me so yeah so if you've never seen their small perfume bottles, this is what they look like. The little sprayer is like super small. It's kind of weird, but the bottle is very cute. I like it a lot. And I got this for $8. I feel like that's not bad at all. I don't know what it is about Bath & Body Works perfumes. Honestly, I feel like they are basically the same as the Body Mist. I don't feel like they have extremely great longevity or better projection i feel like they are very similar to the body mist in all honesty but vacation time is coming up i have no vacations planned listen i told y'all i'm on a no buy and all that good stuff i'm really trying to work on saving i don't have anywhere to go unless somebody plans on you know fronting me a whole trip and then i'll be at home this whole year but we're not worried about that we can vacation next year right now we're worried about building a foundation but back to this perfume i mean i like it but for me it's like nothing special and that's just me being honest i saw a lot of people comparing it to copper coconut sands and i pulled out my copper coconut sands because copper coconut sands was one that i was really um infatuated with when it came out so let me just no <laughs> that does not smell like copper copper coconut sands it smells more like at the beach and i wasn't crazy i love copper coconut sands and it's a completely different fragrance they don't smell the same to me but anywho you guys that is the end of this video i hope that you all enjoyed it i hope that you all stick around maybe watch more videos and until next time you guys bye